Hi uh, guys, welcome back to the channel. Mike here from Comp3 Interactive and welcome back to another episode of What Is. Today we're going to be having a look at what is an enum. Now enums are very useful in used correctly, but first you've actually got to know what an enum is. So in this video I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of what an enum is and I'm going to show you a couple of examples where you can use them in your games. But before we start, I just want to thank Gigatank3000 for sponsoring this video. I've got his links down in the description. Go check him out on Twitter. Go check out his website. Keep up to date with the latest game that he's working on. And I also just want to thank my Patreons. You guys are fantastic. Okay, so what is an enum? Well, enum stands for enumeration type. And basically, it's a value type that we define by a set of names with underlying numeric values. So what does that mean? Well, if we take a look at this little example script I've got here, we see the syntax for it is public enum and then your enum name, and then a comma separated list of tags. And this is it. This is your enum. This will work perfectly fine. And the way this works is the first tag by default, we'll have a value of 0, then a value of 1, value of 2, and so on. And we can see that if we actually display these enums. If we just display the enum itself, we're going to get example, another example, and third example as something that looks like a string. Now, it isn't a string. It's actually of type E, but it will display in the inspector as a string. You can do dot to string to actually get this third example as a string itself, but I don't particularly like the usage of this by string. The useful one is we see that we can cast this to an int, and when we display this in the inspector, we'll get 0, 1, and 2. If we go over and play, we can see that in action. So we have 0, 1, and 2. There are actual underlying numeric values of our enum, and then we have what looks like the string value, giving us the example, another example, and third example. And what's actually useful about enums is we can mess about with the numbers in this. So say we wanted example to equal 200, another example to equal 400, and then the third example to equal 500. We can just declare that inside of our enum pop back over to Unity and replay, and we should see we get 200, 400, and 500, and the names remain the same. So that's all well and good, but where is this actually going to be useful in my game? I hear you cry. Well, what we can go ahead and do, I'm going to delete the scripts that I have currently, and we're going to create fresh ones, and we're going to actually put this to an actual use. So we'll start by creating a C-sharp script, and I'm going to call this scene. And we open this up in Visual Studio. So the end goal of this is to actually have an enum with all my scene names inside. And the reason for that is I can cast that enum into a integer. And when I use the scene manager, I can actually pass that enum in in place of the int. Now, there are uh, a few benefits of doing it this way. One, it actually looks a little bit better because we're actually going to be able to see the scene name. Two, we don't actually need to use the magic string version of the scene manager where we just put our scene name in as a string because that can get really messy and if you misspell something or change the name of the scene, that's no longer going to work. And a third benefit is if you ever change the ordering of your scenes, you don't actually need to go into all your scripts and then change that manually. You just change it in the enum and then everywhere else is going to pick up that integer. So let's get working on this. So we'll create public enum scene, and I'm going to call these scene1 and scene2. Now, I don't know why I do that, but I always put in capitals whenever I'm working with enums. That's just down to me. It's personal preference. You don't need to do that. That's not part of the enum. That's just how I like to see it when I do it. So now we have an enum with two scenes. Scene 1, which by default is going to have 0. And in fact, if we hover over that, we can see that it actually... I'm pointing at my screen and you can't see me pointing. What am I doing? Um, we can see that that has equal 0 and this one should have equal 1. 
So that's perfect because inside of our build settings, we can see that we have scene one at an index of zero and scene two at an index of one. So now we can create our own scene manager script. And in here, I'm just going to check for a keystroke. So if input dot get key down, key code dot space, then I want to call the Unity Engine scene management dot scene manager dot load scene. And then in here, what we'd usually do, we'd usually put our integer, but this doesn't tell us what that scene is. We could also put in scene two as a string. That's perfectly fine. But again, if we misspell that, it's not going to give us any errors, but our scene won't load. So this way we can just simply type in scene, our enum, dot scene two. And you see we get an error because this is bringing back the enum type. So we can just cast that to an int. And if we attach that to a game object, I'll just do it to my camera while uh, I've already got that in the scene. Throw in scene manager there. If I press space, we should just load up our second scene, which just has a different background color. And it does. So enums really are that simple. You can use them in multiple different ways. And just to polish this off, I'm going to show you one more example of an enum. So I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call this weapon type. And again, a public enum weapon type. And we'll have several different kinds of weapons. So we've got a sword, an axe, a wand. So we've got three different weapon types there. But now if we were to create a weapon script to actually attach to a game object, we can do everything like we normally would. So we can do a public string weapon name, but then we can also add in a public weapon type type. Now if we attach this to a game object, throw the weapon on there, we can see that our enum actually creates a drop down in the inspector for us which is extremely helpful when you're dealing with things like inventories. So I've just done a weapon type here, but you could do item type, for example, and a sword could be an item type weapon, portion could be item type consumable, and then you can actually split out your inventory based on this enum. And you know that as long as you select the right element from the drop down, that everything else is gonna work. You don't need to worry about spelling mistakes, anything like that. That's just another useful little tip that Unity allows with enums. So this one's been relatively short, but I hope it's actually been of use to you, and I hope it's cleared up a few things about enums, and I hope to see you start using them in your games. So that's about it from me. I'll see you again next time.